Hello everyone, and welcome to week 16 of Monotype Monday. Uh, this week I am using fairies, and uh, after this week I'm pretty sure there's only uh, one maybe, and maybe a, a little uh, surprise second week left for Monotype Monday. So we are almost done with Monotype Monday here. Um, I'll talk more about what I'm going to do when Monotype Monday is over in the uh, next upcoming weeks. Uh, but, so for this week, uh, use fairies, uh, going to be completely honest, <laughs> I really didn't play that much this week. Uh, this battle is actually from uh, the beginning of the week, not because I haven't really been playing too much recently with uh, some crazy stuff going on here but I am facing Drix again our champion uh, in a fairy versus fairy matchup so we will take a look at the teams here real quick um, I do have a typical Klefki lead with dual screens and uh, T wave, and then just flash cannon, because I do like to carry at least one offensive move on my pokes. Uh, followed by a, I also have a Mawile. It is not Mega, um, because I do prefer Mega Gardevoir to Mega Mawile. I do have a Life Orbed Mawile with. Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Play Rough, and Fire Fang for coverage. Um, I do also do not have a typical Slurpuff. I don't know if you guys know my Slurpuff. I have posted videos about it uh, with my Slurpuff in the past. It is the same as that. Um, but for those of that who do not know it, it is a Calm Mind, Cotton Guard, Draining Kiss, Wish. Um, Slurpuff with Sweet Veil, so you cannot put me to sleep. And it is just powerful. I also have an Azumarill, which is uh, basically the same as the one that you guys may or may not have seen from my water. From the way, 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 way beginning of uh, Monotype Monday. Water was, I think, maybe the first type that I used when I started this series. Uh, Sap Sipper set with Belly Drum, Aqua Jet for priority, Waterfall, and Play Rough. Uh, I do have a also a Mega Gardevoir with Calm Mind, Hyper Voice. Psychic, the two stab moves, and then Shadow Sneak for a priority just in case the special side doesn't do enough. And then I do have my uh, my favorite fairy, Cliff Babel, which I do carry. What do I carry? Calm Mind, Soft Boiled. Moonblast, and Flamethrower for steel coverage. Now, as we take a look at Drix's uh, fairy team, he has a Whimsicott, which can, we all know Whimsicott, can be uh, a rather annoying Stally poke. We have a Klefki, which is pretty much basically all Klefkis are the same. We have a Slurpup, which... um. Those, those, if you let them set up with that belly drum set, can be a, those can be a problem. We have an Azumarill, which is just, can be, oof, massive amounts of power. If, especially if you let it get the belly drum off. We have a Sylveon, which is just especially bulky as all hell, as we will see in this battle. And a little Togetic in there, um, 
which I don't really, I don't see it competitively that much, but here we are, two battles in a row with Drix, uh, <laughs> with a little Togetic in there. Uh, we will get in, into this battle now. So I am going to lead off with my Klefki and get taunted, so, uh, I will not be able to set up my screens straight away. Drix is going to, uh, try to put me to sleep with the Grass Whistle, but, uh, he actually is going to wind up missing that move three times in a row to start off the battle. But that does not matter anyway because you cannot put my pokes to sleep since I have Sweet Veil vale on my uh, Slurpuff. So I wind up taking out the Whimsicott with um, the three Flash Cannons. And now here comes Sylveon, which I am going to paralyze, which is actually a rather uh, big part of this battle. Uh, here I'm just going to be setting up screens. But in the meantime, his Sylveon is setting up Calm Minds in my face, which, uh, is kind of not good because Sylveon is already good enough on the special side, and now this thing is just even better on the special side. Uh, although Flash Cannon is super effective, it's two of them aren't even able to break this sub. And then I get a crit on the third one to break it. But, uh, this thing is at plus three. No, he goes for another sub. It gets to plus three on this move. Uh, in the meantime, my reflect is now g gone. Uh, he's gonna go for a wish here. I'm gonna see how much Hyper Voice does to this Sylveon since it's behind the sub. And it only does 24%, so, uh, that even still isn't gonna be near enough, and now the Sylveon is back at full health after the wish comes true. So, we are in a little bit of a predicament here with the Sylveon. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I, I'm going to try to bring in my Slurpuff and set up, but uh, to no avail, the uh, <laughs> Hyper Voice straight clean Oko's my poor little Sylve my poor little um Slurpuff. So here I go for the Reflect to uh, take a little bit less damage from that uh, on the special side, and then also set up another <coughs> light screen for the physical post that may be coming in later. Zumero is able to take a Hyper Voice by a little bit, but a Play Rough isn't enough to break the sub. Luckily for me, it gets paralyzed, and I am able to go for another play rough to break the sub. But he's just going to go right ahead and sub again. So, we're we're in a, a battle here with this freaking Sylveon right now. But I do wind up, at the end of it all, am able to break the sub, go into my Mawile, and uh, take this Sylveon out after he uh, fails to sub, because thank the lord for Sylveon, that life orb probably saved me there, because then he probably would have been able to sub again. He's going to go ahead and set up a reflect, so that uh, pretty much negates my life orb, basically. And here, Klefki, Klefki is a problem here for me too, a little bit. Uh, with those dual screens up, I'm just, I'm on the complete offensive in this battle. He's pretty much in the defensive mode. So I'm going to bring up, bring in my Clefable, and uh, he's going to go for a Toxic, thinking that I may possibly be unaware, but I am not. I'm Magic Guard. I'm going to, I bring in my Clefable here to set up Calm Minds to try to get even more offensive on him, but I do want to be able to live hits too on the special side. Because I do know that his Klefki has the draining kiss. Moonblast only did 21% to Togetic behind that. At plus, plus 2. Because of the uh, light screen. And he's going for water pulses here. He does wind up confusing me. But the Moonblast that time without the Reflect did uh, 40%. So here I just wanted to go for another combine line, because I know the Klefki is going to come in to uh, set those screens up again. 
flamethrower is able to take it out after it sets up that screen. In comes the Azum Arrow, which the Moonblast does about uh, 45% to it. And now this Azum Arrow has set up a Belly Drum, which I did say could potentially be a problem for me uh, in the beginning. So I'm going to go into Klefki, I'm going to paralyze the Azum Arrow first. Be able to live the Aqua Jet by barely living on 20%, and then set up the Reflect to make this thing's power go down a little bit to help my defenses out. Going to go into my Mawile here, take out the Zoom Arrow with an Iron Head. Togetic is in, I'm able to take that out with the Iron Head. Slurpuff's gonna go for a wish here. Uh, it is going to live, get wish damage back. Mawile, the Mawile lives the return on 1% and is able to take out the Slurpuff with an Iron Head and then go down to Life Orb. So I did win this battle against Drix 1-0. Me and Drix had uh, another good battle here. This is the third time Drix has been on my channel. Uh, I am 2-1 against him on my channel. We always do have uh, really good battles with each other. It's always a fun, fun time. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the team in the comments below. And until next time, good luck, have fun and be safe.